welcome back and thank you for clicking if you're new here you're highly welcome i'm not supposed to wear makeup to do this video or look like i'm looking right now because it is not like me rejoicing over the pain of another i'm supposed to be looking sober talking about this but because i just finished filming another video and i said okay let me use the time to do this one quickly the whole house is calm so why not that is why i'm looking like this talking about this so don't think i'm a human okay before at the beginning of my channel i shared um a video here where i talked about the struggle where i had my first daughter in nigeria in a private hospital in nigeria and i lost one of the babies because she was a twin so i shared what really went down in the hospital and everything that happened to me all the bullies that i dealt with and everything but then my channel was just at i think i had like 50 subscribers or less when i shared that story but a lot, a lot of people found the story to be very impactful and packed with moral lessons i did not want to go back talking about it because i have talked about it when i when i wanted to but now some, something else came up that made me really sad i tried to put a post on my community tab yesterday about this i don't know what happened the team refused to post because um i had someone reached out to me from a dm on facebook that's inbox on facebook where somebody i met in the past you know who used to be an acquaintance in the past reached out to me apologizing for the pain that he has caused me and him believing that what's happening to him today is to him and his family please english is becoming very stressful these days for me okay so please manage the one that i can bring okay so don't tell me i can't speak good english like i'm struggling okay so what happened is this person reached out to me on facebook inbox apologizing to me like first I, I had this um i saw a call coming like this facebook messenger call like the call was coming over and over i didn't want to take it because like yeah the name is familiar this person yeah but what like yeah but what i didn't want to take the call so he kept on calling and then the next thing he dropped his phone number that he, please give a call and that he was around asaba I am like, bros, I'm no longer living at Sabah, so what is it? Hello, say it here. Because when the, the messages kept on coming, and then the next thing I saw was a very long message, you know, long one, because the call kept on coming, but I didn't want to take. So I now saw a long message from him apologizing for everything that he has done to me, how it tortured my emotions, how he thinks. It's probably what has made him to be where he is today with his own daughter I was really angry like how on head do you think that me I have time to go and sit down and be praying for you to go through my pain for me to feel good even my enemy I wouldn't be wishing them to go through what I went through with my daughter and what I'm, I'm going through with her even now and how what anytime I envision the future if I tell you I'm not afraid, I lie. Like, I, I fear our future because I don't know what to expect. I don't know what the future is going to bring. So for you to think I, me, I will go to God and I will not tell him to please give me money to do things. I will now leave all that. I will come and tell him to punish you. It's crazy. If I wanted to punish you, I would have told you right there. Like I've been telling some people what will happen to them. That is me. So for you to think that I i'm responsible he said no 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 not in that way he's not saying i cost him but he felt like he didn't do the right thing to me he bullied me so now let me show you now let me show you guys back to what really happened at the beginning so there was this facebook group that we created i would say that i created the group actually because i happen to be the one that know everybody and i know what we wanted was similar like wanted a road for to our village like there was something we wanted to do we wanted to raise funds for wanted to have like a body you understand a body and a non-political body in my place where even politicians during before elections when they're 
doing campaign they will come to us to seek our support we wanted to be that powerful you get it and uh, they were looking for someone that can that can dice it's not like I'm proud of myself, but someone that is fearless, physically unafraid. And I happen to be available and then, yeah. So I told them I wasn't going to be the leader. I was going to sit back as one of the back sitters and observe. I'll be a watchdog so that if you fuck up, I'll go treat them for you. That's me. I don't want to lead. Sometimes you see me do things here. You'll be wondering, hey, this girl has a lot. I have nothing to lose. I don't in my life ever ever I don't want to be a politician I don't want to contest for anything I don't want to go to I don't want anything I don't care but I just like people to try their best to do what is right when you can so we want to have a body as powerful as that and but we needed people that can say no to money and at the same time say yes to people we really want without we basing our judgment on how much they gave us before we can endorse them we needed people we can boldly ask what are you bringing to the table what can you offer my people when we vote you into that office so that was it and they were looking for people that would be able to ask such a question when they see a rich man i happen to be there okay because i will not collect money behind their back to come back and act anyhow and they knew that so I said, even at that, I still don't want to be the leader. I'm going to be there to watch the leaders and be there. So I'm just going to be like a grandma, the mama of the group. We started, we're all doing well. We had, you know, we had our meetings. We're always hosting on WhatsApp because everybody in that group, almost everybody, nobody lives in the same town. A lot of people lives in the U.S. A lot of people lives in Calabar, Lagos, Abuja, Saba. Enugu, different parts, what I caught. So the best and only means of us hosting our meetings was always it was always on WhatsApp that we could host meeting. So what we do is after like from there after hosting, we we'll fix a date that we'll meet physically. Maybe the best time of the year, which is like December, towards the end of December, between December and January, when we are sure that a lot of people will come home for holidays. So we use that time to meet physically, enjoy ourselves, meet each other, you know, bond, throw a party, just basically do a little bit of charity work, and then we all go back to our various destinations. There we're all okay, except if they are lying. I was the one who was not even who was struggling at, at that time, but then it still didn't stop me from saying yes when it's yes, stay, uh, without you know, just making sure that everybody in the group is being treated right and going good until someone. And I had issues in the group. You know me, you definitely, you definitely, you, de you may definitely want to have issues with me if we agree to do something and then you go back to backstab. You understand? If we had a deal and then you want to take the shortcut, we we'll definitely have issues. So that was what happened with this person. We had an agreement that this politician, we're going to stay away from them this particular one this one where we see so we don't want some it's not like we hate the person but we don't want to go sell ourselves to anybody and then when it's time for election we will not be able to speak because we have chopped from there do you understand we all agreed so why all of a sudden do you went behind the group's back and betray us so this guy and i had an argument and then straight up he told me um, he laughed at me that that is how my husband that is why my husband threw me out that is why with with uh, with imbecile when we are born like um, disabled picking now and of course that argument has nothing to do with my personal life it has nothing it has nothing to do with my personal life it has nothing to do with perfection it is me and you arguing about the things that we should argue about normally when we told you don't do it you went to do it and then you're coming back i was his target i was bro target oh when he said that so i couldn't fight again he has won and the moment he said that word to me i knew that he has conquered me he has won i cried like a baby i know that everybody in the group i wouldn't say almost because everybody in that group were not happy with him 
to the point that some people suspended him like they wanted him suspended like from the group they didn't want him again they wanted him expelled from the group um i know they were doing that so that i can feel better but i still didn't feel good until i started to become you know like i started to lay back to become lay back in the group until i left the group i couldn't continue because that guy crushed my ego like wow so right now why he's contacting me is for me to forgive him because uh -huh, one of his daughters you know has issues so me i should come and apologize i mean i should come and forgive him because so one of his daughters basically has issues and um medical a medical condition is going to be a condition because there's no cure to what the little girl is going through there's no cure um it's something that can be managed you get it so now all of a sudden he wants me to forgive him so that his daughter can be okay that's what he believes like i have the power actually i'm yet to get back to this guy because i have not done anything i only told him like you the audacity for me like it's the audacity for me for you to think i have time to come and cost you see in life we don't really in case you're following me everywhere both here on youtube let me tell you my brother you see in life being kind in life is a choice that you make like you want to be a kind person yeah you are a kind person is a blessing that god have gifted you is the heart of god that god have installed in you the day he created you yeah it's a good thing you know and that is a choice it's your choice 100 percent but making life difficult for people in painful situation it is not okay it is so wrong i'm not saying that you're probably going through what you're going through now because of what you did to me if it's like that that means i did to somebody uh if you ask me i didn't do i never do some of you can attest to the fact that i will never ever laugh at a woman with children who has uh, or anybody basically i can what he's trying to make me believe now is because he laughed at me that is why uh what is happening to him and his daughter right now is happening to him and indirectly he's insulting me you get he's insulting me me that didn't laugh at anyone why did it happen to me and why do you come to me to ask me for forgiveness see life can humble you so anything can happen to anybody at any point so life can happen so if life has not happened to you you don't have to feel like that's the end where i come from they'll tell you okay don't laugh at anyone until your last day because you don't know tomorrow so that is my current experience oh, no please um tell me down in the comment section what you think i should tell this guy because for me i don't intend to tell him anything but i can change my mind if you advise me i can change my mind since he's following me everywhere like a monitoring spirit if you see this video he know my thoughts about this aside that he doesn't know anything i didn't reply him like i was just like are you okay how, how dare you tell me that like how do you think i'm responsible for your problem you know if there's anything you think i should have done or i should do differently tell me down in the comment section um and please be kind to people out there you don't have to physically give them gifts you don't have to if you don't want to if you do it it's okay it's good but if you don't want to it is it is it is your right nobody is gonna hate you for it but where you meet people you're trying to make it more difficult for them because you think that you have it going better than them it is where i have a problem so please desist from such behavior okay show love open your heart and um, god bless you thank you for watching this video i will see you in my next one bye when they say bye